youtube welcome back to my channel as you guys can see from the description this is going to be a makeup no makeup look i'm starting off with moisturizing my face using my 100 percent shea butter and then i'm gonna go ahead and use my elf primer to go ahead and make sure my skin is nice and prepped before i start applying my concealer so today's look is going to be really, really simple. It's going to take about 10 minutes to achieve this look. I'm going to go ahead and grab my, my eyebrow spoolie, and I'm just going to go ahead and brush my eyebrows into place. This really helps with keeping your eyebrows in a uniform shape, so it's always good to go ahead and use your spoolie first. Then I'm going to grab my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Chestnut. This is the same color that I use all over my face. For me, I feel like this gives me a really good natural look. And when you're trying to achieve a makeup, no makeup look, you definitely want to go with a concealer that's going to be close to, to your skin color. So I'm just going to take that concealer. I'm using an e.l.f. concealer um, flat brush. And I'm just going to shape up my eyebrows or follow the natural shape of my eyebrows with that concealer so this will just help and give me a clean look it's definitely time for me to get my eyebrows done but this is definitely a great help when you know it is time for you to get your eyebrows waxed or um, threaded or whatever you do to achieve your eyebrow look if you are unable to do that, then this is definitely going to be a great step that you don't want to forget to do because it definitely helps your eyebrows and just makes everything look nice and neat and clean. So I'm just going in and like I said, following the natural shape of my eyebrow. Now, some people prefer to fill in their eyebrows first and then clean it up with concealer, but I prefer to shape my eyebrows first with the concealer, and then I go in with a eyebrow brown pencil, and I just fill in the tips of my brows. For me, this personally gives me more of a natural look, so I prefer this way. Now, once I'm done with that, I'm going to grab my e.l.f. blending eyeshadow brush and I'm going to blend out that concealer. And excuse me, it's actually a concealer brush that I'm using. So I'm just going to go ahead and blend that out until it's completely blended to my liking. To me, it's coming up a bit yellow on camera. I'm not sure why. <laughs> it normally doesn't, but for some reason, it looks a little bit yellow or golden. So then I like to also grab my e.l.f. foundation brush. And I like to go ahead and blend out the concealer some more. This is an option, you guys don't have to use you know, two brushes, but I just prefer to. Now I'm grabbing that same concealer that I just used in the color Chestnut, and I'm going to be applying that underneath my eyes, on my forehead, down my nose, and around my mouth area where I do have um, discoloration. So normally, if I was trying to achieve a full face, of course, I would apply a lot more product. But because we're doing a makeup, no makeup look, this is going to be all the product that I'm going to use. Now, I'm also going to grab my LA Girl in Toffee. And I'm going to apply Toffee only underneath my eyes on top of the chestnut. And like normally, I would apply the Toffee underneath my eyes, down my nose, and sometimes... um. On the top part of my lip but once again this is a makeup no makeup look so we're trying to achieve a very natural look so you guys can see that I'm using my sponge to just go ahead and blend out that concealer I like to use both a sponge and a brush when I am blending in my makeup I 
feel that it just gives me more of a clean and natural look. Excuse me, I was getting thirsty. <laughs> and so I'm just blending in that concealer. And this is stuff that you guys pretty much already know. It's very self-explanatory. Um, but definitely when you aren't trying to achieve a very natural look, that's basically what the whole makeup, no makeup look is. It's just so you can have a really natural look and, you know, it'll be a lot easier to take the makeup off. Um, you just want to make sure that you guys aren't overdoing the product. The less, the more. Um, as you guys can see, I still have some discolorations like peak peeping through but that's okay or at least for me that is so like I said I like to use a brush as well as my beauty blender so I'm just using my elf brush and I'm just blending that concealer in now I'm grabbing my Maybelline eyeliner in black nor and just going to line my bottom eyelid and I'm going to repeat the same step on my other eye whenever I don't wear makeup which is pretty much every day the two things that I feel like I need or three things excuse me that I feel like I need is eyeliner mascara and lip gloss and I feel you know that's enough um, I really don't wear makeup every single day but if I do wear makeup and I'm trying to achieve like a real natural look this is basically what I do just the concealer mascara eyeliner of course my brows and then some powder and some gloss and that's pretty much it so as you guys can see, I'm just applying some mascara to my lids. I normally apply two coats. I feel like two coats are pretty much enough. That's all that I need. But of course, you would apply as much as you feel is necessary. So now I'm just wiping off my shea butter that I had left over on my lips and I'm going to be grabbing my NK lip pencil in coffee and I'm going to be lining my lips. I always use um, NK lip liners to me like I always say and you guys have probably heard me say it in pre previous videos. Um, it's pretty much a dupe for the NX lip liners. So these are definitely a go-to for me. So once I'm done lining my lips, I'm going to be using my NX Lip Gloss in the color Biola. And it's kind of like a lip stain slash lip gloss. It's really pretty. It's a nice soft pink. I used to really be big in wearing lipsticks. Um, but within the last year or so, like I've somehow <laughs> I've just like fell in love with lip gloss like all over again like I remember as a young girl like when I was younger a teenager like I loved lip gloss and then as I got older I like fell in love with lipstick but now it's like going back to the way it was like I just love lip gloss as you guys can see <laughs> I'm about to put on it's the NK lip gloss I want to say in strawberry and yeah, I just feel like lip gloss just makes your lips look juicy and plump and it just, it kind of does something to the overall face. Um, I'm really not a matte lipstick girl at all. I just hate the way it makes my lips feel. So yeah, 
lip gloss all the way um, as you guys can see right now I'm just grabbing my um, setting powder in black opal and I'm just going to apply that all over my face just to go ahead and set that concealer I don't need much because I didn't apply much concealer so I don't need much powder to really set I'm also not going to be using a setting spray either because I don't feel like it's 100% necessary. But that's it. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Thank you guys so much for looking at this video and always watching my other videos and supporting me. I appreciate it. Thank you. Bye.